Hello there, Aries, and welcome to your love forecast with your love, Dr. Here, Melissa Joy. Now, I got to tell you, in my meditation, I'm hearing the word premeditation. Somebody's thinking a lot, ready to bolt, maybe what they're going to do because emotions are running high is what you've told me. But in the meditation, the word you gave me, you said it is complicated. And the interesting thing is when I went through the Moonology deck to get the background to go along with that, to support it, to help it, to move it to whatever it is agreeing. It says emotions are running high at this time. And this is the card of Sagittarius. And that's about what we're entering now. So there's a lot of intensity going on. You might have something going on in Gemini. So you might check that out because Gemini is the sign where the Mars is sitting right now spinning, doing its little thing. And that can be intense for a lot of people, especially since it's going retrograde. You might also have some connections to Capricorn where Pluto is beginning to break away and starting to make its way into Aquarius where it will arrive in March. So you might know what's going on. Oh, it says you're dealing with both of those issues. Okay. You could check out any of the Mars readings. You could check out any of the Capricorn readings and any of the Taurus readings. It might also be in the earth and sign of bringing things into physical manifestation, your desires. So this might not just be with another person. It might be some personal reflection of why is this so hard for me? Why am it, is it hard for me to, um, find, we'll just call it success and love, success and money, because you're you're piggybacking on the Pisces read where it definitely surfaced that love and money are connected. Not love of money or money of love, but love and money. That as you prosper, the way you view yourself, there's could have been a lot of poverty and drought, abstaining and doing without. Life's wanting to open you up, friend. Okay, so maybe that's some of that friction and some of that red intensity coming on in. That's what the planets are doing right now. I can see, I'm going to just get a tea leaf because it seems to be dipping to the side, trying to run away. And you're like, yes, the moon, it changes your life. And I see that there's a bit of, based on past experiences, you're letting those experiences influence your value and your view of yourself right now thinking things are continuing to be the way that they've always been. Now we're in a major move and a shift and the world has been shifting, not just for 40 years now, and especially in the last 20, in the last two, we're moving into this whole new era and age. It's not just the energy that we're operating in from um, earth energies into plasma where we are creators. It's also that uh, we're moving from kind of like heaviness, into this more fluidity, this more free flow. And so the planets are changing as well. The benefits are changing as well. And they're wanting you to know a bit about that. So ant, work, achievement, and success. So it's saying as you draw closer to yourself uh, fiscally, financially, um, into giving yourself a bit of permission to prosper in the eye of the people, then the true you is going to come forward. So that's why that bit of Capricorn might be showing up. Some justice coming in there. Maybe you've been putting off some love projects for quite a minute. Some passion projects. Some personal passion projects. That has made you think less of yourself. Because maybe you feel you don't measure up to your peers. Maybe that's a silent little bug in your ear. Okay, friend. So let's get into the love. Let's uncomplicate this with Aries here and take a look at your love forecast, what love is trying to come in and burn before. It's weighing in on the opinions of others and letting that measure more and closer and near and dear to your heart than your own, okay? Let's get you into your truth. I see King of Swords is showing up. There's a clump here, more swords, the Empress, the wands in the disc. Let's stick with this. You seem to be telling me a story. So I'm going to arrange these things and see what is really going on. Okay, it's that weighing and that considering the opinions of others. Giving your, you split yourself and made it hard to connect with yourself. And it's a lot of distance that you have to cover. Um, maybe you're not doing what is right under your feet or right within your reach. And you're making it harder for yourself, putting yourself off, making yourself have to wait. All right. So you're letting me know we're having to backwash and go into a back note to clear out the closet 
all right, you're the one. So in the middle of the night, they awoke me to tell me about the Three of Swords. So the Three of Swords is where you let someone else's opinion, maybe the uh, outcome of whatever happened in that brokenheartedness to separate you from yourself to separate you from your truth. You took one of your strong connections, one of the ways that you saw yourself when you met this person or in this situation, and you let it usurp you and flip you out of your own rights and your own life, your own opinion of yourself, okay? And you've been judging yourself for quite some time, and that judgment weighs heavy on you, not just on your mind, but on your energy. It's locked you up and it's blocked you in love and in money. Now, in this vision, they were showing me that the hallway and the passageway to this source and resource, this abundance, this fertility, this ability, all right, whatever your ability and gifting is here, it got damned. You turned your hallway or your gateway or your passageway into a closet. You shut the door, the back door of your heart. And that, therefore, your connection has been closed off. So it's not just going into your closet and cleaning out your closet. It's open up that door. Take it from being a closet, retreated, closed off like that eight of cups was coming in um, in, the, um, in the Pisces reading. And the, like the fish, right? Serving up to yourself what you think you deserve based on this experience, right? Okay. And they're talking about like Narnia. Think about how Narnia, when she went to hide, she eventually found the back of the closet and entered a whole new world, a world that they were able to impact and make a difference in the freedom and the liberation of the people there from the perpetual winter, which dreams don't come sprouting up in winter, do they? The winter is the weight and not just the W-A-I-T, the W-E-I-G-H-T. Okay, and that's been weighing heavy on you because look what is showing up. They like warm it up. Pull that sword up. That sword is permission to have passion again. Your passion is broad. Okay, Aries, it is vast. And the neat thing is this Chiron is in you right now for the next, I think we saw like five and a half more years. So it's not just working this out and work, 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 work. No, it's like rising up to experience life anew, getting it a clean slate, taking a fresh breath of air and allowing it to invigorate you and inspire you and to spark you off in a whole new direction. And what direction is that? This direction is up. Do you see the shooting star here? That is you entering the universe, giving yourself permission, it says, to release negative thoughts and embrace positivity and optimism. Things are looking up in the way you see yourself. See that world exalting and lifting up? And what's unique is both of those rods being in there. X marks the spot. That is our part of fortune. And it's you honing in on what you feel fortunate about, how you feel blessed, how you believe, how you enjoy your day, how you structure your day so that you feel good. What? All the time. It is right on time for you to be comfortable, cozy, blessed not stressed. And how do I know? Because that car was coming in under the Empress. This is the abundance in the world around you. You notice, look at that. She's not pregnant. This is you after delivering yourself into the world, making your entrance into the world. Again, it's talking about, you might go back and watch the Pisces. All right, to get a little bit of backstory, since we jumped into the practical here, instead of directly into the levy dove. But look at this. You're going to love this. Oh, there's a dove. And there be the love shooting out around your head. You're making peace with your world. Mm. With your creative powers and abilities, you are very attractive. in your cosmic mind, as you come together with yourself and you quit walking the wire, holding the line, thinking you have to wait and hold it out until they come in, they're like, you are your ship. You are your relationship. And when you connect with yourself and reconnect by the power of your permission and removing that sword, ooh, life loves you so much it woke me up at 2.38 in the morning to tell me this and I'm just now seeing it. Look at that. Your truth liberates you. Because when you pull that sword out, you give your permission to move forward in life. That's what they call forgiving. Forward, future, forgiving, giving energy to yourself to move forward easily and naturally. Why? Because look, this is you and the power of your mind getting clear on who you are. And look, you go up like a rocket ship. You like, oh, I'm taking off. And that is the love machine. I love 
<laughs> it's got dragonfly energy just off his shoulder. And you're talking about Delta Diamond. You're going to rise so high. And it's not how high you go. It is this feeling inside of you. Uh, feeling like you're right where you belong. Love, lift us up where we belong. And what's going on over here? Mm, look at you. You've done the work. And now it's time to embrace the reward, the affluence. Okay? So many of you, you are going to rise up in society. Also, because you're rising up in your opinion of yourself. They're saying, allow it. Let it happen. Let it happen naturally. As you begin to walk in this abundance and express yourself, your joy, and your... um your peace and harmony, your vibration being true to who you really are. I see that. This card shifts and it begins to say emotions are running bright. Running bright. I love that. I love that for you, Aries. This is so exciting. Hey, if you're still here, like, share, and subscribe. Also, you can leave your comments or compliments down below. Let me know what's going on with you and how you feel about this reading. Also, you can check out any of the other readings. Remember, it was Sagittarius, Capricorn, uh, who's got Mars? Yeah, Taurus, some of that going on in here. Uh, also, know that I love you now and always. You are worth it. You are divine. All right, friend. Talk soon. Bye.